Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Factorio Strategy and Tactics Episode 3. So when we last left our base, we got ourselves our Red Science and our 10 Laboratories all set up, and we are ready to tackle Green Science. So let's take a look at our challenge ahead of us here. Science Pack 2, aka Green Science, requires an inserter and a transport belt. Well, the, first, uh, the second half of that is quite easy. We already are making transport belts, it's just a matter of uh, plunking them down somewhere else to where the rest of the factory can use them, and a long-handed inserter will do just just fine for that job. Um, so in fact, actually I can do that right now. There we go. And that will put that those there. So now uh, we'll we'll deal something with those later on. Um, but let's um, let's let's keep working on this here. So if we um, actually here's an idea. Let's work backwards. Let's work from the the final part of it, the, the assemblers that uh, will be making our science packs and then making the infrastructure to plug into them. That sounds like fun, doesn't it? Let's try that. Because we have a very specific way we want this to set up, and there's a couple of ways that uh, that these will actually hang on. Do we need uh, uh, these inserters require three things? So we do need to have um, we do need to have um, Oh wow, we can pull gear, iron gear wheels off of that supply up there. That's quite handy. Um, but anyway, uh, they require three things. So these actually all need to be assembly machine twos. Um, so let's convert them. Um, and we're going to need more iron to do that. That should do it. All right, so we're going to get all of these assembly machine twos here. Because here's what I want to do. Watch this. We need six of these to maintain the proper ratio. Five reds, six greens. Um, trust me, the, the veterans have done the math on this. Uh, this is the proper ratio. Um, so yeah, we're going to do that. Two, three, four five, six, six of these things, and they're eventually going to output onto this same belt, uh, which will be on the opposite side here. Um, so, you guys will, um, yeah, we'll go here, to here, to here, to here, to here. Hmm... Now, hmm. All right, actually, I think I have an, uh, another idea here because that kind of con comes into conflict with this. Let's 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 move this. We'll pick up that belt there because uh, I do want to make use of this uh, this this machine here. But if we do it like this, then we get a little more flexibility. Why, uh, you missing something? You're missing your guy iron gear wheels. That's because these guy iron gear wheels are being exclusively brought down here. All right, maybe we do need uh, an, a dedicated iron gear wheel producer, which is fine, actually. We can we can swing that. We can swing that. I am I am okay with having one of these things be nothing but iron gear wheels. We can set it up right over here and have it um, plant upwards here. Yeah, because right now it's just constantly outputting. And actually, we might. Yeah, let's just let's just do that. Although, hang on, can uh, will a fast inserter work for us? Because right now, let's let's look at the let's look at the thing. So one, two, one, two. So it's this fast this 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 normal speed inserter is actually our bottleneck. It's not getting enough iron. So if we make it this fast variety, which goes at double the speed, uh, shotgun shells sh damage. There we go. Yeah, now it's going almost entirely full speed here. 
And now we have enough for the gears and that. Sorry. Right, so we'll, we'll see if we can get away without making a dedicated gear one and just maximize the efficiency of this one. It's still having, it's still uh, having little halts here. So if we have another normal speed inserter just to continuously feed it. There, look at it go. Constant production. And it is. Yeah, so the so this is not quite fast enough. So we might need a fast uh, inserter to do that. But anyway, I digress. Um, so here's here's the other parts of my idea here. Get some more long handle. Now these guys, um, we're gonna make you all green science. Oh wait, no, I'm getting ahead of myself. Derp, big derp. No, no, we, we can still make this work. We can still make this work. Big derp. Okay. Um, I'm thinking of the inserters, but the inserters are not the final product. The inserters are, are combined with the, got it. Okay. Um, in that case, hang on. Let me get, um, let me get six assembly, regular assembly machines. Because uh, these are, these I do want to make the, the, the greens here. Yeah, okay. You, my friend, are going to come down here. All right, not quite as clever of a setup that I originally had planned, but I'll take it nonetheless. All right, so we're going to be sending these uh, transport belts down here. That is part of the equation, but we also need to put, um, we also need to get um, our, um, our inserters here. Um, now it requires the green, the, uh, the inserter production requires um, electronic circuits, iron gear wheels, and I think iron was the other thing um, that popped up. There we go. And yeah, just iron plates, which is fine. That's, that's, that could not be better. Um, because here, check this out. We are going to grab iron straight from the spine um, so that'll be the iron plates part of the equation. Uh, did we run out of regular inserters? I think we did. Soon, soon we'll be making our own inserters, uh, in mass quantities. All right. And here we're going to have you grab some of the iron gear wheels that are being used down here. So that's two parts of the equation here. That's, that's, um, and then here we will have you outputting to the opposite side of this belt, um, which will then make this a, a double belt that each of these guys can all import from. The only thing that is missing is electronic circuits, and that's going to be its own little mini build because we're going to use them for a lot of things more than just more than just these inserters. Um, you'll find as you play, you use a lot of electronic um a, a lot of these things all right so let's extend down the spine a little bit here and i'm actually going to do the circuits on this side and then just just sort of swoop them through and sweep them through the uh underneath the uh the spine here so that they can plug into here among other places um so my preferred um, my preferred build for electronic circuits. Hang on, I'm gonna. Um, yeah, I'll eventually. That's fine that these are all uh, level twos. I'll eventually upgrade those anyway. Yeesh, they're getting a little more persistent up there. Let me check because when you see a large number of red exclamation point, that means they're there several segments of wall is being damaged yeah we need a turret up here hang on yeah and we need iron of course we need iron we always need iron 
All right. Well, we'll, we'll get to that soon enough. Sorry about constantly being distracted, folks. We will get this green science going. And I will show you the ideal uh, green, cir uh, green circuit build here. Very good. Shotgun shooting speed, too. Thank you. Yeah, I know. You guys are all going to be out, out of power. There. All right. So the way this works is uh, we're going to do three of these. One, two, three, like so. Um, and then we're going to do two, like so. Um, and the way this works is um, uh, the first, this, this is a, um, electric circuit boards are going to be the first component that requires a lot of copper. We need three times copper cable plus an iron plate to uh, sort of hold it all together. These three are all going to be copper cables. Um, right there. And we clone it and paste it, paste it. And you, my friend, are going to be circuit boards. Clone you, paste you. Um, and now here. Get that. And then we will have outputs like that. And we need more. Do to do do to do to do to do to do more, more, more. Soon, soon we will be able to uh, not need to constantly manufacture our own inserters. We'll have the machines do it for us as it should be. Um, now, just like with the spine over here where we we split out some of the copper, here we're going to do the same thing, but with the iron. Um, so we want to actually sever that, and we're going to get a splitter. Um, and, yeah, we also need an underground belt. Two segments should be fine there. There. Get our, get that there, get our splitter. Because that we're going to loop around here. Oops. And because you guys are going to be the ones actually physically supplying the iron to our, uh, to our uh, little uh, build here. Um, because they do need those. Uh, but then we're going to grab ourselves some long-handed inserters, which actually we already have, and have them output onto a different belt. And this belt is actually, I'm going to, I'm going to have this belt join up with the spine because there are so many things that use, um, that use these things. These, um, um, what's it? The, uh, uh, brain the green circuit boards uh, but the other thing I want to do here is I actually want to get a splitter another splitter here and uh, split them I think actually I'm gonna split them up uh, a little bit further here because what I want let me get another underground belt while I'm at it part of what I want is um, to have them here let's get that underground belt Oops. There, that, that's better. Um, yeah, so we get our splitter here. We put our splitter down like this. Yeah, this'll, this'll work. Put you facing down here. And I, I ran out of, uh, this stuff. Fair enough. And then you come down here and join the spine. All right. And then that's the, those are the electronic circuits being brought over to here. And, uh, that should do everything. We should get ourselves some lovely green science once we, uh, power everything up here. Oops, missed. 
And oh yeah, kind of have to uh, copy, paste, 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 paste. All right, what um, what are you doing? You're you're not you're not grabbing the iron plates. You need to be one down, I think. Are you not able to? What am I missing? Circuit boards. Oh, because I haven't plugged any of this in. Duh. Pinstar. You so silly. And here comes our full blown production of circuit boards. Some of them going here, going into producing this thing. Now, in addition to uh, feeding our, uh, our green science, we also want uh, a supply of, uh, of, cer of, uh, of inserters ourselves. So we're going to make ourselves a little dump box. Uh, we'll put it over here. And uh, whenever this thing is not, uh, whenever this thing feels like it, it can start uh, filling up this wooden chest. Actually, I don't need it. I don't need it two stacks worth. I can, I can deal with just having one. All right, let's analyze this for bottlenecks. Um, your bottleneck is circuit boards. Let's analyze these for bottlenecks. Uh, these need, these things all need to go faster. These things, yeah, these things need to output faster. So these need to be fast inserters. Always good to double check your your stuff. I mean, as you as you play the game and you get more familiar with it, you'll be able to start sort of sensing and knowing the ratios just naturally, and you can set it up right from there. But when you're experimenting and you're learning the game and whatnot, just this is how you look for bottlenecks. So this thing is constantly pr under production. It's uh, the the raw material, the finished material is being extracted fast enough. The raw materials are being input fast enough. Um, this thing, yeah, these things are each being fed fast enough. So now we've got, we've got real thick green circuit production here. And actually what I might do here, let me get another splitter so I can balance the line. Now I don't think I've shown you how to balance a line yet, have I? If we, um, if we go like this and get our splitter here, where's our splitter? Oh, it put it in our toolbar. Fair enough. Yeah, if we put our splitter like this, and then we put the side that is that is being neglected back onto this side here, it now shoves them onto both sides of the splitter. So now we've got double-barreled um, uh, circuit board production here, which is very nice. Um, now, are we making enough gears for everything here? Because this thing's, this thing's, well, the gears are currently the bottleneck for this thing. If I really need to, I can do another thing of gears just solely to feed this assembly machine. Um, but, uh, yeah, actually it is grabbing every single gear that this thing is producing. Um, yeah, actually, let's go for a fast inserter here then. All right, so something else can't keep up. This thing is working full tilt. Uh, a few of the gears are making their way through. Um, well, it's enough because they're trickling down here. Oh, I never started my new research. Durr. Geez, Pinstar. Well, now that we have green science packs on there, we can start on green research. Uh, so let's decide what we want. Um, whole number of things that we can get. Uh, that tool belt's looking pretty darn good, but I like this gun turret damage one. Let's go for it. So now you can see uh, all of these are grabbing the green uh, beakers here and feeding them, um, in addition to consuming the reds. All right, so that's looking pretty good. 
You guys, we need more turrets. You know what? We need to manufacture some turrets. That's what we need to do. So what do turrets need to be manufactured? Iron gear wheels, we're going to need a, our own thing. Ten copper plates, ten iron plates. So, a uh, fair amount. Alright, yeah, this thing's keeping up. Just barely, but it's keeping up. With enough production, once we get efficiency modules, we can start sticking them in there. And heck, we're even, uh, we even got 50 of these, uh, bad boys to take with us now that we don't have to make them ourselves. Alright, so let's get ourselves some turret production here. Um, so iron gear wheels. We need two of these things. One to make the gear wheels and the other to grab the plates. Um, so yeah, we'll get a couple splitters. And let's see here. Yeah, splitter number one. We'll go here. Splitter number two. We'll go here. Get ourselves some underground belt. That's something else we could probably manufacture is some underground belt and splitters and what have you. There's a, there's a, every item in this game can be manufactured. Um, you know, the assembler is very flexible like that. All right, there. Actually, we'll get you over here like that and like that perfect so now we have each of these going over here get another assembly machine all right you are going to be our iron gear wheels and yeah these are fine just sitting as a as a as a normal and there we go Gun turret damage, one upgrade. Very nice. Um, let's get... Logistics 2 might be a good one. Circuit network, maybe a little later. Mm, advanced material processing, not bad. Um, I like this tool belt. Yeah, let's do the tool belt. All right, uh, inserters, you just need to be fed iron. You're going to be feeding this, which will be making us turrets. Oh, it needs to be a, uh, a blue uh, to make us turrets. That's fine. That's fine. We can make you a blue. We can make that happen. All right, plenty of those flow in here. Tool belts, uh, upgrades, and whatnot flowing quite nicely. I always like to keep the spine even so I don't forget. We will be tapping into this supply of uh, of uh, green circuits here. Don't you worry, uh, ladies and gentlemen. But there are other things I want to get going, like this turret here. This turret production. Right then, uh, blue assembler. We'll just replace that. Turret production. And we need a long handle to grab the copper. Short handle to grab the iron. Actually, one of these is probably... What do you require? Uh, 20 iron plates. So the iron it needs to be a, uh, a fast inserter. There we go. And of course, everyone needs power. And we need a place for this thing, this thing to output to, so we will make a, uh, a wooden chest. Where's our wooden chest? Wooden chest! There you are. And yeah, well, any, any old nook and cranny is fine. And we will limit you to one stack, because we only need so many turrets. Pardon. 
And actually, this needs to be a fast inserter as well, if it's to keep up. I do like me some fast inserters. That's what she said. Ah. Oh. <coughs> Pardon. All right, uh, so what is the next thing on our agenda to manufacture? Because um, we got the bullets and we got the guns, so that will uh, allow us to... Uh, uh, protect ourselves pretty nicely here. Uh, we could go for more gun turret damage upgrades, um, but yeah, they should be okay. Military 2 will allow us to produce armor piercing rounds, but we need steel for that. And I do need to get my steel production going, uh, in the near future. Not quite ready for it just yet. There's a few more things that I want to start producing, uh, via automation that do not involve steel. Um, you know what? I'm gonna punt and go lab efficiency one here. I know some people don't might not say it's worth it, but I like having it just just to just to just to do it. <laughs> Besides, they might have rebalanced it in the patch. I'm not too sure. All right, so let's look at our at our stuff here. What other low hanging fruit can we automate? Um, so repair packs, those can be automated, um, certainly. But I'm looking for I'm looking for more stuff that we can use off of this just plain iron and copper line. What what things that are just iron? Like we the shotgun shells, perfect example. Let's get a couple of, of um, automations for shotgun shells. We don't use a ton of them right now, but we can make use of them. Um. Yeah, like that and like that. Might as well. Actually, we don't need a twofer for that. We do need a, uh, a box for it, though. Make an iron chest. Oops. There we go. And then one normal inserter. And one long-handled inserter. And one of these. Run the belts. And get some power. And of course, we can't forget to actually tell it. Oh, let's get a light in here. It's getting a little dark. Actually, you have to tell it to make shotgun shells. Aha! Look at this! We are actually starting to exhaust some of our iron here. Look at that. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. We are, we are, you can tell our system is hungry. Um, when it starts just devouring through it like this. Um, so we need to look at our production capabilities here. Um, so these things are doing fine. And actually I can, I can actually extend these a little bit longer, but that, but more smelting is not the answer. Cause look at this. The iron ore is not making it all the way down here. That's not our problem. Our problem is that we need more, uh, we need more raw iron output. So we need to actually tap into this. Also, hang on. Let me check our power. Power still holding steady. Uh, let me grab some bullets uh, and just refresh my guns because that's lingering a little bit longer than I would like it to and I'm thinking one of the guns there has run out of ammo. Speaking of running out, um, I think you're out. Yep, we, we sucked up that rock deposit there. But hey, waste not, want not. I'm glad I, uh, I'm glad I set that up. Every little bit counts. All right, you know, you guys aren't out of bullets. You just need more guns there. Well, don't worry, we're we're manufacturing backup for you. Um, hey, there, here we go. Let's uh, let's get you guys a uh, a flow in here. So, actually, you go here. You go here. You go here. Get a couple of. Uh, and we'll actually go just get a little mini belt. Get ourselves a, uh, oh, what the hey, we'll do a burner inserter and just have it pull stone off of there. Get out of your tree. Get 
get you there, there, and then we'll just feed you guys fuel manually. Including the burner inserter. And that will, uh, that will start cracking away on that. That way I don't have to run power all the way up there. Might want to actually get uh, some turrets there, though, because uh, that's going to start spitting out some pollution, which the biters may not appreciate. Um, but hey, here we go. Turrets. 14 of them. 14 turrets. Huzzah. That will serve our purposes. Um, so while I set these up, I will uh, put an end to this episode here. So if you like this episode and want to see more, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback is always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. Um, see ya.